bit tutty, Jeeves. No guests, no reception, two plates of curled up sandwiches and a deformed wedding cake. Well, it's not my fault, your ladyship. Your ladyship? Hmm. That's better. I'll watch them creep and crawl at Harrods. We thought you'd like a nice quiet affair. <laughs> quiet, right. And what about a toast to the newlyweds or something, you know? Oh, very well. Here's long life and happiness for the bride and groom. The, the bride, bride and groom. groom. Thank you. In reply, I name this ship loving kindness. May I keep her on all who sail in her. Ah, you, you should have you should have seen the late Earl's wedding, my lady. Five hundred guests. The cream de menthe. Wastrels all! May their carbonized bones rot in hell! Shut up! I can't say I like the idea of you being alone with him. You're a beauty. Everything's yours. Even if you've given it away. One minute silence, please. What for? For all the dead books of World War I. For Mr. Moto, Cisco Kid, and me. Muffle the drums. Silence. Shh. Terrible, isn't it? That's why I sing, dance, talk. And love. Oh, we, Galveston, we sang, and village bells rang, and the beautiful night we were married. <laughs> oh, <the rose laughs> they bloom for the bride and the groom of oh, the beautiful oh, night we were married. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, Tucker! Sorry, sir. Oh, you'd like me to liven up this wake. Where are they gone? To bed, of course. I must say, I wouldn't like to be in her shoes tonight. It's not her shoes he'll be in, Master Dinner's Day. Oh. <laughs> 